Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Phil. I'm Sam. And we've got a request from Artemis today who's supported the channel many times. Thanks yes. Artemis, we really appreciate the Thank support. Thank you so much. We're doing a Night Train today. Yeah, this is apparently your favorite workout song. His favorite workout song, although I don't really know about that one, man, because apparently this is a drinking song. Well, maybe he's going to the gym to get his pump before he goes out drinking. Maybe that's what it is. <laughs> it helps but him up. Night Train was apparently a wine, a cheap wine that the uh, band and I guess maybe people in the industry were drinking at the time that had high alcohol content but was really cheap yeah. and that's where the name night train comes from <laughs> and we did a little bit of research background on this one because we've never heard the studio version we're jumping into the to tokyo 1992 performance yeah. live performance of this one but night train i believe was the fifth single off of this album and um, what was the album name again appetite for destruction appetite for destruction and that yeah. had so many bangers on it, it had paradise city Sweet Child of Mine. Welcome to the Jungle. And Welcome to the Jungle. Um, those are songs that we've done. And those songs are just straight out bangers. Like one yeah. of the, some of the top songs in rock history, I feel like. And uh, the other one that we've done is November Rain. And mm. that was, was the first one that we did, which is, I believe, off a different album, but yeah. still fire nonetheless. Anyways, clearly they've got a lot of bangers on this yes. album. Let's see if this one is a banger as well. Are you ready to get it going? Before we do, though, we have a little ready. question for you. A little pop quiz. Here's a little pop quiz. And we we want to know if you know if you do drop it in the comments if not then wait and at the end we will let you know but what two bands kind of fuse together to make Guns N' Roses what are the names of those bands yeah, so prior to them becoming yes. Guns N' Roses they were two separate bands that and blended together, meshed together and what were those bands called yeah. to form Guns N' Roses we'll tell you the answer at the end anyways let's go Night Train Tokyo Guns N' Roses velvet what i think they're velvet <laughs> yeah it's gonna take me a second let's restart it because i'm i'm totally distracted by these shorts right now. <laughs> velvet booty shorts There's, they're definitely the shortest shorts i've seen on every person we've seen has been wearing pants in a rock <laughs> band before never seen that ever so we're gonna take a minute gather ourselves <laughs> now we're going <laughs>
I feel like he's wearing velvet briefs. Yeah, <laughs> That's what it looks like. It's a really weird outfit. <laughs> he I, has to keep pulling them down. I mentioned that in the beginning, and he's kicking all over the place. I'm surprised <laughs> he's not worried about something falling out there. Um, <laughs> you know, I, I love you, Artemis. I you know appreciate all the support. Yes. Um, however, I got to say that I'm not in love with his vocal performance on this one. I think from the performance standpoint, like I, I've just... My expectations are so high now yeah. after what we've seen from Guns N' Roses. I was expecting his vocal to be sharper yeah. on this one. I love, you know, Slash came through and did his thing again. I really mm, like the hook. Killed the guitar. I love the hook as well. Um, the energy and stuff, it's comical. It's funny. Like, and I don't know if that's what this performance is supposed to represent. Yeah. A little more fun, a little, you know, yeah. less focused on the, the concert. You know, uh, it's not like the, the point of the song doesn't seem like it's supposed to be a deep message or anything like that. Yeah. It's supposed to be a fun party song, yes. right? Yeah. So, um, you know, like I said, don't, you know. Don't take it to heart if I'm not loving his performance on this one. I just got to be honest and say, like I said, I felt like he was a little bit all over place on when he was singing there. Um, he's got a great vocal. Like his vocal is fire. He just comes in. His range is wild. I just yeah. felt like he was kind of like jumping all over the place when he was saying what he was saying. Yeah, it didn't so really it's hard blend to be with like the music as well and... as what I would have wanted. So yeah. that's just my initial response to it. But, you know, uh, I... I haven't heard the studio version, so I can't really comment too intelligently on yeah. how it's supposed to sound. Yeah, and I don't know if you heard this, but like I was picking up a little bit of like almost like mic feedback and mm -hmm. stuff because yeah. he was like running around and stuff. So that's obviously going to kind of hinder what you're hearing and yep. stuff like that. And it was just like a little bit like that was kind of I was like, oh, I wasn't expecting mm -hmm. that. But I can definitely see from like an energy standpoint, like how you could say like this would be like a good workout track or a party track or True. like something to like hype you up and good energy. Yeah. So Especially I could totally see like why side. you like the song Artemis in general um, I think it's probably like what you're saying like just especially not hearing the studio version yet it's hard to know what this is you're supposed to be hearing so you're kind of just like all over the place a little bit trying to follow the live performance yeah that's what I was just saying right the studio version might you know be that hype up for a workout mm -hmm. kind of song yeah. and we're just not catching that so much on this performance um, I like I said I don't necessarily think that the song sounds bad in any mm -hmm. way it's just more of him sprinting across the <laughs> stage and trying to sing at the same time yeah. may not be going so well. Yeah, 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 for right? sure. So I think, uh, you know, the second half, I enjoyed that more for sure. I felt like he, uh, that was because he actually got into singing. I feel like you caught a glimpse of what I disliked again at the end. It was when he was more like speaking rather than singing, mm. when he was actually ripping in and like getting into the, you know, 
high range of his vocal and singing like he can that was sick it sounded awesome and yeah. the hook sounded good as well obviously slash came in with another solo sounded yeah, fire. That. Yeah. um that was all great so i think it's maybe just that little snippet at the end it was only like you know 10 seconds and in the introduction that I, maybe i was kind of pinpointing a little bit too much because the rest of it was really great and i did enjoy like right after he paused it i was like okay yeah he's just gonna make me look bad now by coming through and ripping it <laughs> Yeah, you know, I think that definitely like his vocal range is so impressive. And like you said, I feel like for me, it was more like when he was stationary, he was fine or like moving around a little Mm -hmm. bit. Like you said, it was more of like when he was like trying to run and dance and jump and sing at the same time. It's a lot going on. And when you were there, if you were there while he was doing that, you probably wouldn't even be caring about it. Exactly. This is awesome. Exactly. And it's also kind of impressive that he still has that much power while he's doing those things. Very true. I couldn't do it if my life depended on it. So, (laughs) yeah, but I think the, that, guitar solo in the second half was my favorite part like slash killed it yeah it was great yeah well hopefully you enjoyed our reaction nonetheless Armas, you know you're gonna get yes. a real reaction from us we're not gonna you know, fake it out here we don't <laughs> do that but we've been enjoying our guns and roses journey and this added to it for sure it was cool to see the crowd they were loving it first time that we've got to see them do a live performance like this as well so yeah and i'll probably download the studio version for my pl- my workout playlist too so. yeah so thank you for that request hopefully you all enjoyed it if you did hit the like button for us is your first time on the channel hit the subscribe button we got two videos every single day music sports yes. and comedy so you know what to expect when you subscribe and check in tomorrow we'll see you then thanks for watching guys see you next no wait time. hold on we forgot the answer oh, to the pop quiz yeah. <laughs> The answer to the pop quiz. Okay, so the two bands that formed together to make Guns N' Roses was the Hollywood Rose and LA Guns. That's right. I, had to, I almost mixed those two up. I almost said Hollywood Guns, and then I was like, no, that's not right. No. <laughs> That is, it's Hollywood Rose, Rose and LA like Guns. guns. Yes. And so if you uh, enjoyed it, like I said, hit the subscription. We'll see you tomorrow.